Hello everyone. So it's been a while. I've been busy with other things in my life, so I have not had much time to dedicate to YouTube, but I am back and hopefully uploads will be a little more frequent. And a few things. So we recently hit 800 subscribers and I want to thank everyone for that. In celebration, I am thinking about doing a live stream, maybe a Q&A, I don't know. If any of you have suggestions for that, maybe you can leave them in the comments. Two, I noticed in my old videos that I had like some grainy background noise and I applied an OBS filter to hopefully fix that. The downside is, is that more, I guess, loud noises will be a little more harsh now and yeah that's pretty much it and once again I'm using the device that I used for my last test or two I'm not using guinea motion anymore for my device emulation, I'm using a Bodo E5 Cruise from Cricut Wireless. Now, as previously mentioned in one of my old videos, I did not install this, 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 a good chunk of this stuff. I did not install, it was a pre-installed service called Mobile Services that's installing all this. So, it also spammed notifications earlier today, so if one comes up in the notification bar, don't be surprised. I know I can disable it, but I've just been too lazy. Plus, I really don't care that much. But, yeah. Today I'll be testing Sophos Intercept X for mobile. Yeah, the, um... This is not a paid application. At least not for home users. Now, Sophos Mobile Security was the old name, and I'm not sure if they, um, they just removed Sophos Mobile Security and changed everything over to Intercept X for Mobile, but it's, I think it's completely free unless you're using a corporate environment. But, yeah, that's what we'll be testing. So, here it is. And, yeah, I'll go ahead and accept all this. This is my first time setting it up, which is why you're seeing all this. Let's see, improved anti-malware engine and bug fixes. Okay. And right off the bat, does not like this device. Okay, issues found. USB debugging, that's required for my screen capture. Screen lock, I don't need one. At least not on this device, because it's not my primary, and there's nothing sensitive on it. And require pin to start device. Now, this phone by Motorola does not support um, pins to start the device, but my main device does, which is an LG. And, yeah, maybe newer Motorola devices support a pin on boot up. I don't know. I'm not getting another Motorola phone again. And doesn't really know about app sources for some reason. Notifications on lock screen, yeah. Bluetooth, don't really care. And looks like it is already finding the malware planted on this device. Even though I did not start the scan as you saw, maybe it just did an automatic scan. Whatever. Network security, we have a web filter. I suppose this would be useful. Yeah, malicious content. So I guess if you wanted to prevent your employees, your kids, anyone sensitive, you could block all this. Which looks like it supports Chrome, which is the only device, the only web browser on this device at the moment. So adult, alcohol, and tobacco, criminal activity, gambling, you get the idea. It blocks all of this for those people you want to protect. 
And we have a link checker. Okay, so just checks for malicious or inappropriate content. Okay. We have Wi-Fi security, which checks for Wi-Fi, I assume, for threats. Of course, my network's not going to have any issues. At least I hope not. And then we have app security. And what is it doing? Oh yeah, I went ahead and found two of my malicious APKs. Looks like it just updated. Okay. Then we have corporate management. Now, this is where you have to start paying if you want to um, make this device with Sophos and Receptex manage, then you have to start paying either Sophos or you can get Microsoft Intune, none of which I have. So let's see what we've got on the sidebar here. We've got an Authenticator, so this is sort of like Google Authenticator, where you get a code that only lasts a certain amount of seconds or minutes, depends. Now I use Google Authenticator for most of my accounts that support it. We have password safe. Okay, so not really sure how to use that in a home or personal sense, but whatever. We have a QR code scanner. I assume checks for um, malicious QR codes. Now nah, I'm not going to allow it to access my camera right now. We have app protection. Looks like maybe an app locker. I think that's what it is. Is it an app locker? Yeah, I think it is. And hey, there's some more bloat. Yeah. All right. Privacy advisor. So this just displays what permissions or apps have. Okay. Then we have our settings. Now, as you saw, I set it up just a minute or two ago, and I have not changed anything. So all of this is um, default. I did not change any of this. And yeah, that's... Those are all the settings. And we have about. Now this is the version that is up to date. At least of today, August 4th. And, yep, Sophos. So yeah, enough of this. I think you get the idea. And today, let me go ahead and open up my file manager here. I have, now I recently added a sample. It was a, it hijacked your SMSs and your contacts and starts and starts spamming contacts with a malicious APK, which I believe is a TikTok premium um, app. So we have 115 threats. Let's see if I can find it. it. Should be near the bottom. Oh yeah, this is new too. Got this from a sketchy site. And yep, here is the SMS spammer. So yeah, I will go ahead and if Sophos Intercept X is not already scanning, then I will start scan. But it looks like it's already scanning. Yep. So I will be back once it finishes up the scan. All right, I'm back, and that scan took a little while, but um, yeah, this is what we've got. 
live generics. And down here, let's see what we've got. We've got some PUAs, potentially in wide applications. Some call them POPs, potentially in wide programs, but same thing. Just stuff you probably don't want. Am I going, yes, I want to delete every single one of these manually. So I will be right back once I'm done deleting all these. All right, I'm back, and looks like it's just going to continue doing this for a while. Now, something a little concerning that I noticed, some threats that I know were Trojans, and some of them that were labeled as backdoors were marked as PUAs, which I would count those far from unwanted at this point. Because one of them was Rootnik, and another one of them was Phantom Lance. But at least it allowed me to delete them, and at least it marked them. So let's see what we have left. Let's see. We've got four left. So that is really, really good. So if you're a company and you choose this as your mobile security product of choice, I don't think you'll be disappointed. And if Sophos wants these threats right here to add to their database, or they want to analyze them further, then feel free to get in contact with me. But anyway, that's pretty much all. Thank you all for watching, and have a great day.